Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari. As first year MBBS university examination is round the corner, you must be very anxious and nervous because I know it will be your first university examination and you will have a lots of doubts regarding how to prepare for the first MBBS university examination. So don't take much tension because I am here to help you. In this video, we will discuss how you can prepare well for the first MBBS university examination. And it, it will not be applicable to the first MBBS university examination. It will be applicable to any university examination. So please watch this video till the end. The first thing you have to do is the subject mapping. In the first MBBS, there are three subjects. Anatomy, Physiology and Biochemistry and as I am the faculty of Biochemistry, so I will take the example of Biochemistry. In the subject mapping, first thing comes the syllabus of that particular subject. So you should have idea regarding the syllabus of the Biochemistry. That is the first thing. Second thing which comes in the subject mapping is, as per the CBME curriculum, that is Competency Based Medical Education Curriculum, NMC has given certain, certain competencies to particular subject. And these competencies are again divided into core competencies and non-core non competencies. So you should prepare well for those core competencies part. That is the second thing which comes in the subject map. Third thing is, as in the first MBBS, there are three subjects, anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. And all these three subjects have a two question papers in the university exam. Fine. So you should know that which particular topic will be asked in a which particular question paper. And so these three aspects come under the heading of subject map. That is about the subject mapping. Now very few days are left for the university examination. So it is a time to do the smart work. Now how you will do the smart work? For the smart work, you have to refer, you have to visit your respective departments as well as the central library and you have to get the copies of old university question paper as well as the prelim question paper. Last five to seven years question paper will be, suffix, be sufficient. Right? So get the copies of previous university as well as prelim question papers and go through those question papers thoroughly. What idea you will have after referring the question papers, the first thing is you will have idea regarding the paper pattern of that particular subject. Which type of multiple choice question are asked, which type of long answer question, short answer question, short notes, case studies as well as logical reasoning are asked from that particular subject. That is the first thing you will get idea after referring the old university question paper. Second thing is after referring the old university question papers, you will also have idea which particular type of question is asked from which particular topic. Say for example, diabetes mellitus. From the diabetes mellitus, dot not as well as the case study can be asked. This type of idea you will have after referring the old question papers. That is the second advantage of referring the old question papers. And the third and very, very important advantage of referring the old question paper is you can prepare the question bank from those old university question papers as well as you can filter the topics of that particular subject. How you will filter the topics of that particular subject? Let's take the example. Over here, I have taken the example of carbohydrate metabolism. So you have to make key column. Most commonly asked questions, commonly asked question, and not so commonly asked question. And after referring the old university question papers, you have to you have to drop the particular topic in this three under heading. Fine. Say for example, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and glycogen storage diseases are most commonly asked, so that will come in the, under the heading of most commonly asked. Then gluconeogenesis is the commonly asked question that will come under the heading of commonly asked question. Glucuronic acid pathway is not so commonly or rarely asked question. Fine, so that will come under the handy, heading of not so commonly asked question. So after preparing the question bank and after filtering the particular topic, you have to complete this most commonly asked questions first. Then you have to complete this glucose commonly asked questions and if time fits, 
then you can complete this not so commonly asked question. So, as in the beginning, I have said that it, there is a time to do smart work. Fine. So that is the how how you will do the smart work. Fine. And after that, another important thing comes at com module. Fine. As per the CBME, NNC has introduced at com in the first year MBBS, and there are total five modules in the first year MBBS. And in every subject, compulsory one question is asked from the at com module. So three questions from the five modules. You have to complete this at com modules thoroughly if you want to score well. Fine. So that is the third thing. And the last, how to read. Fine. The first thing is. Refer textbooks by Indian authors. Fine, that is the first thing. Second thing is you can refer the video lectures. Now let's talk about the video lectures. So I will tell the biochemistry part. You can refer the videos posted on my YouTube channel. I have completed 80 to 85 percent syllabus of the biochemistry. Not only theory videos are there, practical videos are also there along with the multiple choice question as well as the viva questions. And what are the unique characteristic of all this video is I have prepared all this video after referring the all the standard textbook and at the end of the every video there are multiple choice questions which are neat PG and next PG oriented. You will also prepare well for the multiple choice questions part. Fine. So prepare. So prepare a particular subject from the video lecture. Fine. That is the second thing. The third thing is make notes from those textbooks as well as the video lectures and make handwritten notes fine because handwritten notes are very easy to revise and so that will help for the rapid revision part because all these subjects anatomy physiology and biochemistry they are highly volatile and they need rapid and frequent revision fine? and in, the, in those notes to mention the keywords particular keywords of that particular subject and try to or the images in that particular note another thing which i do is you can take the pictures from your uh, mobile phones and you in the gallery part you can make the particular folder anatomy physiology and biochemistry and in your free time you can easily revise those uh, pictures fine so that will help in your rapid revision part that is how you will Eat for that particular subject. That is all about today's video. Please like, share, and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching. Thank you.